Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon. It is the Earth Master back here on this Monday. I know it's Monday. We can get through it, though. It's already halfway over, right? Uh, at least here in the West Coast, where it's 12.35 p.m. California time. Monday, November 27th, 2023. Uh, latest activity looks like a 1.6 out here along the West Coast. That is the latest earthquake there on the globe. We did see some further earthquake activity here in Iceland. Uh, over the last 24 hours this is actually the last 12 hours showing uh, about 43 or so according to this site here that monitors the earthquake activity in the region we are seeing uh, a little bit of further activity north of the Grindavik region of Iceland right in the area northeast of Hagafell this is the area where they believe uh, the uh, potential eruption is going to take place out here now I'll double check this make sure I'm pretty certain this is the uh yeah this looks like the latest yesterday when we were looking at this this was definitely well elevated now yeah it looks like we did have a little bit of further activity in terms of above the microquake levels there into the two range you can see that in the yellow circles here indicating some of that somewhat larger earthquake activity in that region uh, they did put out an update today, uh, which is uh, from the Icelandic Met Office. Activity still located primarily near uh, the Slingarfell area, hopefully I pronounced that correctly, and the Hagafell area of Iceland, which sits to the northeast of that town there in uh, uh, Iceland, which is Grindavik. Uh, they're mentioning here seismic activity has been relatively stable for the past few days with a daily rate of about 500 earthquakes in the area of the magmatic dike. That's a magmatic intrusion area here. Uh, and again, most of the seismic activity has been confined northeast of the Hagafell area, uh, which is uh, obviously outside of town, which is good news. Um, data... Right from the GPS stations here and satellite images show that uplift continues in the area of the Savart Singhi and deformation is still ongoing along and around the dike area. And you can kind of see it there specifically in a linear type fashion uh, here in this region. I think it's about 15 or 17 kilometers long in terms of that uh, intrusion out here of magma below the surface. Most of that activity here from the 24th uh, earthquakes they uh, are in this region here outside of the Grindavik area, which is good news. Much better to see uh, the potential for eruption take place outside of town instead of within it, which uh, could have happened. But right now it looks as though all models are pointing towards the eruption possibility here within this region outside the Hagafell area to the north, uh, northeast there. Um, there is obviously a potential that uh, some of this magma below could be solidifying in terms of not breaking through to the surface uh, and it's possible but um, we'll have to keep an eye on it because these things uh, could take a little while in terms of the eruption making it through the uh, surface here um, didn't quite happen as quick as these folks were thinking it was going to i mean there was quite the gps displacement going on in terms of inflation and earthquake activity here um you know a couple weeks ago they thought for sure this was gonna pop within a matter of days and here we are a couple weeks later and still no eruption but uh, looks like the potential for that uh, eruption continues though but to the northeast of Grindavik, which is good news uh, for the folks there in that town they are letting a few folks back out here uh, in order to get stuff and you know, because I don't think we're out of the woods completely yet in terms of uh, basically um, shutting down this uh, potential for eruption. I believe it's still going to happen. Just question is when. Uh, I think I know where. It's definitely going to be up here around where the majority of this earthquake activity is taking place. All right. Um, let's see here. So these guys are saying the newest results suggest that the dike, which is the intrusion, the magma intrusion at depth, could be wider than initially assessed. 
uh, the time needed to solidify the magma that intruded into the dike area would be therefore estimated to be on the order of a few months. So they're thinking that there has been no solidification of the magma below and uh, that it would take months. I Possibly. I mean, that seems like a long time. Um, but then again, you got uh, rock above it here preventing the uh you know the much cooler temperatures up here from uh solidifying that magma but i don't know we'll have to see how this plays out folks i still think we're gonna see an eruption matter of time i suppose right all right uh, yeah so that update was put out this gps displacement map is from the 18th and 19th so uh doesn't look like anything new on this still showing that uh, elevated uh, region here of the magma intrusion definitely pushed up the land quite a bit there in that uh, GPS image all right let's go ahead and check out uh, the rest of the earthquake map here see what's going on here in the last 24 hours definitely uh, well definitely getting a pretty good cluster of activity down here in the South America region quite a few uh, fours even a couple fives in there as well. The latest though shows a 5.0. A lot of this here was from yesterday here. Uh, looks like yesterday afternoon, uh, but still within the last 24 hour uh, period here, definitely uh, quite a bit of movement. One earthquake down in the South Sandwich Trench from last night, that was a 5.0. A little, little bit of earthquake activity out here from yesterday as well. Divergent, close to the divergent boundary in the Southern Mid-Atlantic Ridge. One little earthquake over here in the Indian Ocean. That's near the triple point junction of the plates. That earthquake coming in yesterday. So what do we have here for today? <laughs> uh, let's see here. What do we got going on here across the Mariana Islands? Any further earthquake uptick? A little bit. A little bit down south here where I had mentioned. Uh, this is only a 4.9. So uh, this is the area that's really hasn't seen any major activity here in a little bit uh, while all, all other regions tend to uh to have had quite the earthquake activity here throughout the year but the latest one looks like a 4.7 here into the uh northern mariana islands region not deep at all these are all relatively shallow earthquakes that are occurring in this region not for sure why usgs map is Messing up like that? Did they, did I get, uh, ooh, looks like I lost my internet. Let's see, did we lose the stream? Or was it just a uh, temporary pause here? We're still up, looks like we're up. That's really weird. Yeah, someone definitely having fun with, uh, my internet. Looks like we're back though, right? Isn't that weird when I start doing updates and it's always like on the USGS page. It makes me very suspicious there of a uh, potential wrongdoing. I don't know. I mean, it's just really odd. It looks like we stabilized there, but uh, for a minute that was down to zero, which means uh, the stream could have went down, but it looks like we're up. Yeah, it should be up now, hopefully, folks. Uh, looks like everything's running. All right, let's get back uh, to the earthquake activity there. Just a little odd. All right, Big Island of Hawaii. Quite a few quakes there in the last 24, but uh, really uh, kind of spread out here, it looks like. No major earthquake activity here to report around the Big Island. Uh, the latest information statement here. We'll check this out real quick. Kind of weird. Probably doesn't help, really doesn't help that I have so many windows open, but I'm just one of those people that always looking at different stuff, reading different articles on different sites, and um, just a bad habit, I guess. Uh, the volcano there on the big island is not erupting, and uh, looks like summit seismicity has been uh, fairly quiet 
over the last 24 hours. Obviously it is, uh, according to this map here from the USGS site, showing just, I mean, really, that's pretty quiet if you really think about it. Most of the time we got a good handful of earthquakes, so a little strange. All right, uh, so really no new news on that. I wanna check out the uh, model over here real quick. See what's going on with the uh, inflation data. If anything, um, I'm sure it's kicked up a little bit uh, from last night. Looks like it has continued to uh, show inflation here on this chart. So this is definitely peaking out once again. The last 30 days still shows that. Uh, well, this one's definitely taken off here. This last uh, inflation here in the last couple of days, last few days compared to the previous inflation days. Well, it means that we're still looking at the influx, intrusion of magma here below the surface areas. Uh, just a matter of time. I, I'm starting to wonder when this thing's going to start showing some signs of, uh, some signs that it may break through the surface. Again, most of the earthquake activity, though, if you will, if we look at the last 30 days, let me bring this up here real quick, has been confined across this region south of the summit region and a new area over here to the southeast uh, so if anything i think that uh could see that eruption possibility take place right through here maybe opening up a fissure somewhere within within this area i believe but that's all subject to uh observation right in the future see if it does decide to uh erupt once again all right, West Coast activity. Uh, let's see, anything above 2.5? Looks like we did have a 2.5 outside of Fresno along the coast range here near the Diablo range. And uh, also 3.5, a little bit further south. Looking at the California map here, it does look slightly elevated down south here. Although these are generally small microquakes, there's quite a few of them, numerous uh, throughout the San Jacinto Fault Zone. Texas rocking and rolling, obviously, like normal. That's crazy. I'm thinking so many earthquakes they've had here recently. Uh, and a couple earthquakes, if I remember from last night, uh, out here in Oklahoma. Did have one earthquake here in Tennessee this morning, it looks like. In the new Madrid seismic zone, a little 1.9, but nothing major going on for now. A handful of clusters everywhere across the uh, Puerto Rico Trench. So we'll continue to watch this and see how it plays out today. Uh, space weather activity, a little sea flare activity earlier. Uh, not for sure where that came from exactly, but uh, it did peak up a little bit here in the last couple hours. Uh, overall threat right now shows a 99% chance for a sea flare, M flare at 35, X flare at 5% chance. I'm just checking this once again, making sure that didn't go down. It's really weird. It's almost like a... Uh, like somebody reset my my um look like you can't reset my route router otherwise it'd take a couple minutes for it to come back online but it's definitely weird how everything went down to zero i had no connectivity it's like a complete uh blackout of data uh sunspot activity here quite the numerous amount of sunspots um that massive region that we had been watching over the past few days has uh, just pretty much vanished in terms of complexity. We're still watching 3,500 down here. This one does harbor some potential for uh, some flaring. Looks about the same as last night in terms of the uh, magnetic core that it harbors. But that's about, that's about it. Uh, Space Weather or uh, Storm Prediction Center. Not a whole lot of severe weather in the outlook here today. Uh, and in terms of wet weather, well, it looks like we're going to get uh, a little bit of, well, <laughs> that just died overnight. It did show a little bit more rain than uh, what it's showing right now. So these storm systems are just being uh, pretty wimpy. We should be getting quite a bit of rain here in this area by now, and we're not. We're getting behind. I know we still got December, January, February, and March, but... Uh, each day that goes by is not good because it's pretty dry out here in my neck of the woods. 
Either way, a little bit of rain along the coastline, it looks like, tomorrow. Nothing big. So these colder storms drop it down out of the north. Do not normally bring a lot of precipitation here to, uh, to my area. I'm hoping that changes, though. All right, I'm going to jump off here, folks. i got quite a bit to catch up on here on this Monday. And uh, again, we'll continue to watch activity. Uh, there's a 2.8 coming into Hawaii right now. Um, I don't know if I... Did I key up the hotkey? Um, doesn't look like I have a station there in Hawaii. Not for sure what happened to... I reset this thing a couple times over the last week or so. But I'll add it back on here if I can remember. Have a good one, folks. We'll catch you guys. Uh, we'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later on. Take care.